Hi, I'm Matt Cole. Welcome to episode five of The Hub Show. If you've ever ridden off-road at high speed, then chances are you'll have crashed a fair few times. I know I have. Your trail riding might be getting a bit more leery, or you might be after a bit more confidence to push yourself to the limit. So why not think about upping your protection to match it? This POC VPD 2.0 protection jacket might just be the thing you're looking for. Using POC's own VPD compound, these sections are built to absorb impacts and take the sting out of a crash. It's unlike more bulkier downhill specific models in that it's lightweight, slim fitting and really comfortable to ride in. Hopefully you won't need it, but we both know you probably will at some point. Now here's a guy who could do with a bit of body armour. American megastar Matt Damon recently appeared on the Jay Leno show sporting a sling after breaking his collarbone in a mountain bike ride. Apparently I'm not a very good mountain biker, Matt told Jay. Don't worry Matt, even the best of us have broken our collarbones. Matt isn't the only high profile celeb to ride off road. Australian motor racer Mark Webb is a big fan and when he's not hooning around in his rally car, Ken Block loves shredding his local bike park. 2014 is going to be a huge year for pro road racing. The Giro d'Italia is kicking off just up the road from CRC HQ here in Belfast and the start of the Tour de France, known as the Grand Depart, takes place in Yorkshire. The big guns of the Pro Tour have already started their season at the Tour Down Under in Adelaide, Australia, and we're really looking forward to seeing who comes out on top. Past winners include Simon Gerrans, Andre Greipel, and Cameron Mayer. And the points gained at the Tour Down Under will be crucial for the next set of races, the Spring Classics, which start in March. We're really enjoying the Global Cycling Network's updates from the Tour Down Under, so check the link below if you want to see all their coverage so far. I'm not sure what moves you were pulling on a bike when you were 13 years old, but I'd guess they weren't as dialed as this. Andrew Cazares shreds the Woodwood West skate park in California on his 18 inch cult BMX bike. This guy is such a young talent. We can't wait to see more of him in the future. Just when you thought the antics of the Nitro Circus crew couldn't get any more insane, they put a scooter rider on a BMX and pull off the world's first front flip forward bike flip all off their 50 foot high Nitro Giganta ramp. You probably have to watch this one a few times to take it all in. Martin Ashton's mind blowing Road Bike Party 2 has now hit almost 8 million views and he continues to adjust to life after breaking his back at a trials demo. He's an inspiration to all of us and it was brilliant to see him recently posting a picture of himself at the Newport Velodrome riding a recumbent. We really hope you enjoy this episode of the show Martin. In the last episode of the show, we gave you the chance to win a signed Sam Hill jersey. We had thousands of entries, so thanks very much if you entered. There can only be one winner though, so Andrew, Paul, congratulations, the jersey's all yours. Now you mentioned that if you won, you'd be putting the jersey up on your living room wall. If you get permission, and you do, please send us some pictures. In this episode of the show, we're giving away one of these two top of the range helmets from Met. If you'd like to enter, please click on the link below. A lot of us here at Chain Reaction Cycles commute to work by bike and in the last episode of the show Guy Martin told us about his 40 mile round trip to work. Let us know below how far you ride to work. Okay I'm Matt Cole, that was The Hub Show, thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook or Twitter and while you're at it subscribe to our YouTube channel. I can't start in a what. Okay. No you probably will. <laughs> what do the hands mean? That was not bad. Why is that relevant? I call the shots, it's the thing. Should I put on an accent? Yeah. <laughs> I keep saying massive! I keep you smile, because when you smile, I'll smile. <laughs> we do. Boom! Don't come near me! <laughs> I have to stop it! <laughs>